Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today um, I am commentating over a recording I did. Um, this is me defeating Cumber uh, in the Red Zone, the new Dragon Ball Heroes Red Zone, and this is actually my first attempt with full Dragon Ball Heroes, and I believe we get two missions done with this, because I think one mission was full Dragon Ball Heroes, and I think another mission was um, like a turn count or something like that, right? So the other thing that's kind of wonky about this was when I was recording this on my phone, like, so I was doing like family stuff all weekend. So I had little moments where I could kind of like record videos, like just silently while playing on my phone. And there was an instance where I had started this fight and then it was like, all of a sudden, Oh, Joe, we got to go do something. So I actually had to stop the recording. And then I like recorded the second half separately. So when we get to that point where that, that recording ends here, I'll do a little thing and switch, but I didn't want to go in and edit it and splice them together. So I'm just doing this live in OBS. So I've got the videos just layered and I'll, you know, I'll explain it. We'll get there. But basically what we're running here and we see here, I don't know anything about what Cumber does, but we see that this Cumber stuns and I think Cumber hits very hard in all phases. Now, to me, the Limit Breaker Goku is very good if you can get enough hits in, but to me, like Super Saiyan 4 Gohan and even Super Saiyan 4, um, or sorry, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan and then Super Saiyan 3 Zeno Goku are kind of the MVPs here because they're very defensive, right? Now you can see I even got away with taking uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito here. Now Super Saiyan 4 Vegito should have no business being in this red zone, but he's providing good support. His defense is just good enough to not like instantly die from normals. And um, off chance he gets supered, he has a chance to dodge counter, right? So because he has that, um, I think he is worth running here, right? And I just wanted him as like another viable support or on rotation you know but you can see we're already taking normals from this phase right here now pan i think is very good because she can just dodge and be crazy which she's going to do right here dodge and then she's taking from normals now here comes a super so now i cross my fingers and pan gets hit she took a lot there right because the thing with pan is she gains defense per dodge she only got one dodge in so that was a little unfortunate but we still survived it right we got 560k hp um so we're going through grabbing orbs here the other thing that's crazy about this run you guys is i do believe this is a no item run so this is like all missions complete no item run uh style of run here we'll double check and see if i use an item throughout the video but i'm pretty sure i did this no item run um which is also kind of crazy and this was just like my first time jumping in and trying this thing out um but yeah the super saiyan fours did fine here like i said xeno super saiyan 3 goku is just an absolute boss here like he can just tank like crazy um and, you know, obviously RNG always has to be on your side in red zone. Um, but we definitely uh, we definitely got it done here. And, you know, this Limit Breaker Vegeta isn't the craziest. But when he's proccing those additionals, like, he can output some damage, right? For sure. All right, so here's Grade 8 Cumber. And I think this is the final phase already. I think Cumber was just like a quick little two-phase fight or whatever. But this guy's got AoEs, right? Oh, no, so this is not a no item run. So forget that. <laughs> We're using we because here's the thing, we get into group attacks, and I have no idea how hard this is going to hit. I don't know if this is going to be like Broly level or what, but I'm like, yeah, we need to use an item here just to see what's going down. So yeah, this fight here, it's not no item run, but it's just getting the mission done. But I do believe we meet turn count, and then this is all Dragon Ball Heroes. Whatever, there's two missions in there. I think there was multiple, but this fulfilled two of the missions, like right off the bat. So I was very happy with that. All right, so with the Whis, the AoEs here aren't really doing anything. But see, this is the thing. So yeah, even Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta was okay there with the Whis. So his defense, once again, you're just asking to have it high enough to be okay against normals. And then you hope if you get super that he covers it. Um, now here's Limit Breaker Goku with the fat 7 mil attack stat. Now if we can happen to get this guy 7 hits, he's going to be really godly. Because he's going to be guaranteed critting and like doing all kinds of craziness. Um, and then this Vegito is a floating support, putting near 4 mil attack stats. Like, we'll take that, right? All right, so here comes another all attack once again. And so this all attack phase is really key for getting Limit Breaker Goku. Now, we did get a dodge there. So that was kind of unfortunate because that would have been a nice easy hit. But he's still all attacking. So we're still getting some more hits in. Now, my Goku does dodge quite a bit because I did give him 15 dodge. Um, oh, that was the friend one though. So that might have only been 5 dodge. So I'm not really sure. But yeah, we have two Gokus we're trying to get built up at the same time here. Um, Pan here, I think, could be very good on these AoE phases because she has extra chances to dodge and build up her defense, right? So I think units like Limit Breaker, Goku, and Pan really shine in the AoE phase um, just because there's extra attacks that can be coming in. So there you go. Pan getting those dodges, she's just raising her defense. I believe she gets 50% defense every time she dodges. So her defense really has no limit to how high it can get. It's just a matter of how many attacks can she dodge in a turn, right? 
um, which is pretty good. So I do like Pan as a floating support because my big gripe with the game these days is, you know, the big thing used to be like, we need enough units, we need more units that can survive slot one, right? Which I, I would argue that, yeah, there's still like not a ton of slot one units, but there's been like a decent like push for those, right? Like Kid Goku, Trunks and Vegeta, Zeno Super Saiyan 3 Goku, uh, Gamma 1, like we've been getting a lot more of these like slot one units, right? So I think the need now is like support units, right? We need more support units that can survive in very difficult content. So a unit like Zeno Pan, I think is very good. A unit like Chi Lai is very good. Um, I think Robel, like stuff like that. That's that's what we need more of is stuff like that. Now, once again, guys, at some point, this video is just gonna cut out and I gotta swap to the next one. It'll be in about 40 seconds, but dude, Zeno Super Saiyan 3 Goku's good. I haven't done his showcase yet. I haven't recorded it yet, but he's a, he's a beast. Like his defensive ability is really, really good. He's definitely one of the best units to come out of the celebration, which I think we were all predicting that like him and even this Int Gohan were going to be very, very good coming out of the celebration just because of what their kits were, right? Their kits were just so good immediately. All right. So we're just going through here. Goku doing his thing, getting a bunch of attacks off here. Okay. And then, yeah, this Cumber is pretty tanky. All right, so now we're going to the next phase, and this is where we're going to go ahead and we're going to swap videos here. So we're going to head into this video, which I've just got to restart. All right, so now here's where we left off. So that's my awkward transition into the second video. Uh, so here we are, but it's the same rotation, everything. I literally just reloaded my game and started recording. I decide to Whis here just because I have no idea what this Cumber is going to do, but I'm guessing he hits pretty darn hard, right? So we got Goku in slot one, and uh, Goku is type disadvantage, so I opt to put him in slot two. Um... And there's actually more attacks coming in slot two, so I think that was maybe the better play here. Um, Vegeta a little bit tankier, um, just because he's not type disadvantage, right? All right, so it's just a matter of how quick can we take down this Cumber. Now, Vegeta, once again, like he's definitely not as good as Goku, but when he's proccing these additionals, right? I, I do believe, yeah, Vegeta has the potential for triple supers. So I think that's where he really gets in. Now, Goku's built up. He's at 10 mil. So this should be guaranteed critties at this point. Guaranteed crits, yeah, all the way through. So now Goku's like a beast. He's got more defense. He's got guaranteed crits. Uh, he's still got that 30% damage reduction because we're running a full super class team. So like Goku's looking pretty darn good right here. So this team, like the Vegeta and like the Vegito are probably like my biggest risk defensively. But Pan with her dodge, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gohan, Zeno Super Saiyan 3 Goku. There's just so much defense there, right? So here I'm just double checking like my damage reduction and everything to make sure I understand what I'm getting into. Because this is very important. It's like, do I put him or do I put Gohan, right? And I'm trying to figure out who has more damage reduction. Now Gohan's got like straight up 50% damage reduction, I think. So I think I opt for Gohan here. Um, well, no, I think I changed my mind. I'm double Because Gohan doesn't guard, right? He, he only gets the damage reduction. So I think I switch and go back to Goku at the last second. I think is what I do here. Yep, I switch back to Goku because first thing I was like, which one has more damage reduction? But then Gohan with type disadvantage probably would have taken a lot of damage because I do believe Cumber decides to super here. Yep, right away. And Gohan with 50% damage reduction, I don't know if we would have died, but this would have stunned. But see, Goku now, and that was the other thing was Goku got stunned. So, and I think Gohan's going to do more damage. So I think I was okay with the way that it turned out. And we took double digits there. That's all I really wanted. So Gohan, I guess 3.7 isn't the craziest, but he's not linked up with the Super Saiyan 4. Gohan's hitting closer to 5 mil if he's got Saiyan Roar active and he's got those Super Saiyan 4 links going. But yeah, at this point now I'm thinking, oh yeah, we got this. Um, I think my last Whis has run out, but all I got to do is get an attack in. And with a fully built up Goku in slot 1, I think we're probably fine here. But I have to put Vegeta just because I'm scared of the type disadvantage, right? So I opt to put Vegeta and just hope that Vegeta doesn't instantly get supered. Because I'm guessing, yeah, 66k normals, we're probably like one shot dead there um, if Vegeta got supered. But we got lucky he didn't. Dolk on attack here is going to proc and then we're off to the races. Um, that should be the end of Cumber. And you'll see at the end, I think it procs like three missions complete. Um, this is my first time um, challenging this red zone. So once again, I did get it done on the very first try, which was very awesome. We got a bunch of those missions done, but there you go. Full Dragon Ball Heroes team um, getting the Cumber Red Zone done. Uh, so there it is, and then we'll go ahead, and you'll see on the mission page, it'll proc like three missions complete or something like that. So anyways, guys, there you go. Let me know how your runs are going. 
Uh, but we got it done. If you need help with team building or getting this mission done, just let me know. You can let me know in the comments or just hop into my Discord. We have a team building channel in there. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one.